everyone so happy day eight of uk lockdown and episode three of this ab graphic design 2020 series um yeah i'm isabel or some people in class call me izzy that's cool as well but yeah i will be doing this vlog and chatting about my fmp and sort of things that i've been doing that keep me inspired and motivated so yeah okay so i've chosen to theme my final major project on excavation and it's less um, about physical excavation or geological like, excavation of like land and rocks and stuff. It's more about <clears throat> layering and rediscovery of hidden truths, hidden meanings, and just really building things back up to the surface. Um, the plan is, I'll try and keep it brief, is to make three zines that encapsulate my research. And um, yeah. I'm gonna try and do it in the style of a company that visited my uni twice, three times maybe. Um, they are called Weapons of Reason, or it's run by a studio called Human After All, and they're really cool. So they take these sort of um, current hot topics and show show the development of that topic from the past, the present, and the future of how it will be and things like that. So this is my AI copy. Um, it's really cool. So they discuss, as I said, the past, the present and the future of AI, how we came from it, what it is now and what it will be. But they put it in this like really nicely designed and super colourful um, publication. Yeah. So this has everything I want in it. Typography, illustration, colour, texture, print. It's a book. I'm going to bind it. Well, I'll hopefully bind my zines. Um, with some of my resources I have at home, luckily. So yeah, I figure that out. Um, but I'm also gonna do it in a style, the sum of my illustration style, inspiration, is Michael Craig Martin. Hopefully I can drop a picture in here. But um, yeah, basically what he does is he takes the everyday objects and layers them so they look like an illusion. And yeah, the point is you sort of have to like look deeper into the flat image to find out what is beneath the surface so that is another one of my artistic inspirations I guess yeah I'm just gonna mention as well if anyone has any other tips for me anyone to look at any advice what I could do I welcome it like I will happily try and help you do the same with your projects Um, yeah just same as we would in class we're trying to help each other along on this pretty crappy situation that we have been put in um, yeah. Um, okay, so I won't lie, motivation has been lacking. I kind of, uh, when I came back from uni, because um, I'm now back at home, I had like maybe a week where I just banged out a couple of projects, um, the MASH one in particular, I just did that, um, and some ISTD work as well, which, yeah, is still slowly progressing, despite this deadline. But, um, yeah, so... The way my week has kind of worked is I've had sort of three days of full on work and motivation and high energy. And then after another three days, I just, I don't, I, I lose focus. So I don't know if anyone else is experiencing that, but that's how my week is going. Um, so it's not great and I'm finding staying inside is really impacting on my sort of freeing up my mind. And I just, just kind of feel a bit closed in physically and mentally. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> there's a couple things that I've been doing. I've been watching some TED Talks and sort of some art-based documentaries. Um, the TED Talk that I would recommend is Ken Robinson's Do Schools Kill Creativity? It's the most watched TED Talk and you can find it on YouTube. Um, it's really cool, he just explains sort of the importance of design and creativity and <laughs> I think it's quite uplifting to realise that our degree is actually worth something. Not that it wasn't before, but this is just really reassuring and, as I said, uplifting. The second thing I would encourage is maybe not so related to uh, FMP specifically, but they're just nice things to watch. So if you've seen any of the abstract on Netflix, it's called Abstract, the art of design, and they have sort of an episode per artist. So the graphic design one um, has Paula Scher in it. And she's sort of a big type typography designer. Um, it's really cool. Shows a lot of hand rendered work. 
and things like that so that's good inspiration and another one i would really really recommend which is out of the graphic design field ish but it um it's by ez devlin she is a stage designer i'm gonna say and she does amazing visuals and motion for a lot of people's like a lot of musicians as well tours so she's done like kanye she's done beyonce's formation tour things for you too the weekend the rolling stones it's it's purely amazing and like seeing her work go from like flat to outcome is just really great so 100 percent recommend that one um i also follow a lot of design accounts um i like shelf book heroes which is a sort of a to z publication of sort of films um and illustrating things like that um, Annie Atkins, who is a graphic designer on Wes Anderson's films, I really love her typography work, and it shows a lot of history in that too. And uh, Rodrigo Corral is a book designer that I really like. Um, he did the cover of a book I have somewhere, but it's the Call Me by Your Name second book called Find Me um, by Andre Asiman, and yeah, really recommend. Super pretty books, and his website's really cool too. Um, so yeah my final note of advice or summary of advice is to look at your inspiration um take things from that that maybe you could incorporate in your work even if it's shifted completely from what you're doing just take a look at it don't do any work that you're not passionate about um leave it on the back burner if you're not doing it it's obviously there for a reason um yeah look around you if you <laughs> if you can go outside once a day yeah I'm not going to encourage that, I'm sure, probably. But, yeah, just get out or explore what's around you. Use your resources to your advantage whilst you can. And, yeah, good luck, everyone. I hope we can reunite at graduation one day. And I know everyone is going to smash this deadline. So, good stuff. Bye! <laughs>